have to factor in the double play for Hathaway. Hathaway has come on. He has retired the rest. And as I mentioned, with those two pitchers splitting it almost right down the middle. A solid defensive play closes it down, and Upstate will pick up an 8-2 victory over the Furman Paladins to sweep the season series. With Furman, their rivals from just across the way in Greenville, South Carolina, and Phil, on this night, you have to tip your cap to USC Upstate for that pitching effort of those two young men. A zero up on the scoreboard in the errors column after a weekend in which they were plagued by a number of errors throughout all three games. And Thank 10 hits pounded game. out game with consistent offense field. resulting in eight Please runs. The and the result is what you see on your screen. High fives all around. Brian Hathaway picks up his first win of 2016. Goes over half the game. A couple of big double plays in the contest. And in the end, enough outs to secure your team the victory. Talk about how you felt out there on the mound. Felt real good. The slider was working most of the game. Uh, missed mostly down. And a couple of the high pitches kind of just swung right through it. Ryan, you look back at this one, it's kind of a result of the way you pitched over the weekend. Talk about your appearance over the weekend and how that helped you earn this opportunity tonight. Uh, that, that, that was really my first outing of the year. It kind of got, uh, helped me get rid of my nerves on the first couple of innings. Uh, that kind of just helped me settle down for this appearance. When they're putting up the type of runs this team did tonight, it certainly helps out there on the mound to have that kind of breathing room. Yeah, you don't really have any tr uh, trouble kind of just holding the, uh, the runs down because you know your team's going to provide. What about getting the double play to start things? You come in, it's a tough situation. Furman's just scored their first two runs of the game. They're poised for more. Walk us through that sequence. I was just trying to get a ground ball because that's pretty much uh, what my fastball is trying to do. And I was just trying to get a ground ball, keep the runs to a minimum, and help save Blake with his uh, runs. What does it mean to this team to come away with a victory like the one you guys secured tonight? It's a real big confidence booster after this weekend. Hopefully we can uh, take this momentum into tomorrow and the weekend. Well, thanks, and congratulations on your first one of the year. Thank you. Matt Fincher and the Upstate Spartans sweep the season series with the Furman Paladins. They do so with an 8-2 victory here at Harley Park tonight. And, Coach, this has to be one of the more complete wins your team has had all around all season. I, I would agree with that, Jason. I mean, we and we needed that. You know, I mean, we didn't uh, play very clean over the weekend against Kennesaw. And, um, you know, they came out here tonight and they were ready to go. And, you know, had had uh, good pitching from both Whitney and um, Hathaway, and you know we got some timely hits. Uh, we we executed a little bit and and uh, played real well. I thought it's not too many nights you go just two hours and a half, and you have a couple of guys split the outs almost right down the middle the way those two did. Yeah, yeah, we like the two and a half hours, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I thought Whitney pitched a little bit better tonight, uh, certainly better than he did against Kennesaw, and, and he needed that. I mean, he's got some work to do, and, and uh, you know, he was out there trying to make the adjustment. Um, you know, Hathaway was outstanding. I mean, excellent, and he just threw strikes, and he had a he had a slider to go with his fastball, and, and they struggled to hit it, and we just let him out there and let him run, and, and uh, that was good to see. I mean, that's, that's, that's fun for him, I know. You know, he hasn't gotten the opportunities that a lot of other guys have, and, and – uh, you know, boy, he made the best of that one tonight. Coach, your offense scored pretty consistently over the weekend, so that was really nothing new. But you have to be pleased with the way up and down the lineup they were producing tonight. Yeah, I mean, if 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 we're going right, I mean, we should we, we should be able to to share the wealth, so to speak. Um, and that's important. I think any coach would tell you that. Um, you know, you got to have production out of uh, both the top, the middle, and the bottom of your order to be a decent offensive team. And so when we get that, we should be able to score some runs. And so hopefully that's the kind of thing that will continue. Charlie Carpenter came up a triple short of the cycle. What can you say about his performance? Well, Charlie's Charlie's a good hitter, I, I, and I'm still I don't believe uh, that Charlie understands how good a hitter he really is. So, and, and hopefully uh, that'll come to him before he leaves here. But uh, certainly had a great night tonight, and I like to see him uh, hit the ball up the middle the other way. I mean, I think that's where his strength is, and you know anybody can hit a ball out in right field as a right-handed hitter the way he can. We've seen him do that more than once. Um, uh, you know, is, a, is an interesting problem for the opponent. And so uh, hopefully he'll keep doing that kind of thing. After a night like tonight, do you have any hesitation of turning right around and playing right back here tomorrow? No. You know, you play like that, you're ready to go the next day. Let's hope. I mean, we'll find out tomorrow. But I, I would hope that, uh, you know, Charleston Southern beat us down there. And so we, uh, you know, we got to find a way to compete with them and see if we can win. Congratulations, Coach, on a great night all around. All right, thanks, Jason. Matt Fincher, his team doing everything right. No errors tonight. The pitching staff exceptional, as he said, and enough offense for an 8-2 win over the Furman Paladins.